as you look at this image? What comes to mind? What's the first? What, what, what comes to mind? You know, looking at this image right here, what the image you're looking at, all right, is uh, these is in, uh, I believe it's LA, right? Over in LA, you got over 58 cargo ships sitting in the water. What, what comes to mind when you see these cargo ships sitting in the water? All right, and I'm gonna start off giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Akakadash. Number one is to the apostles of BMS. Hope you did well. Um, Yelak Mora Ah from the Shepherd of Berea Camp. Shalom to the other Akim out there, the Aquaf out there that's uh, laboring in his crew, supporting the ministry. All right, I'm Yelak Mora Ah from the Shepherd of Berea Camp. And yeah, I, 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 I. I um I just wanted to start it off by asking that question. You know what comes to mind when you see this image right here, and you know we're more or less gonna bring out the answer. And the first thing that comes to mind is in Revelation 18. I could clearly see what John the Revelator was talking about in Revelation the 18th chapter. Okay, because Revelation the 18th chapter is a prophecy. It's prophetic for some of the something that happened now i'm not saying this is the fulfillment of revelations 18 that's not what i'm saying in this video all right i'm actually seeing how the revelations 18 chapter john the revelator uh, uh kind of like you know uh, saw that vision because these are cargo ships and on these cargo ships that you have thousands of these containers right here look how big this container is this woman can actually you know walk in here you have um 40 foot long containers all right now you have hundreds thousands of those on these ships okay piled up to the top and you got 58 ships over in i believe they said la alone and then you have a whole set of ships in new york city now this article um that i'm looking at is pursuant to uh what they say uh was um um fake claims about what's really happening I'm not really uh, getting into uh, that portion of it, but more or less, I just wanted to uh, do this right video on uh, Revelations, the 18th chapter, and I'm going to start off. I'm actually going to start off a little more up, and it says, Lambeth to Babylon. All right, and it says, The kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived illicitly with her shall bewail her and Lambeth for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. So where is Babylon? What is this talking about? This is talking about America. How you know? Because it says the kings have lived deliciously with her. When you sit down and um, analyze everything, you see that most Chinese products are sold where? In the United States. All right? They're not being sold. You don't see China. You're not going to see a Chinese restaurant set up selling duck and pork and stuff like that inside of Ishmael's land. And when I say Ishmael, I'm talking about the Arabs. So-called Arabs over there in the United Arab Emirates, the UAE. You're not going to see that happening, all right, because they have their own culture there. But in America, you'll see that. And then in the same token, you'll see a Chinatown. And then in the same token, you'll see a little Italy. And then in the same token, you'll see an area where there's the so where there's a, that, the so-called Africans. And then you'll see an area where there's like a bunch of uh, so-called, I mean, the East Indians. Then you'll see an area where there's the... Uh, the Arab, and they all set up. They'll have their stores. You could go over here. They'll have a shop here. You'll go to the city. You can eat at this restaurant. Hey, if you went to um, eating a, um, a, like a like a, a, a Hinduish dish, you can get into that. If you want to get into the philosophies of Hinduish, you could get into that. You can't go over to um, over there in Dubai and in their country and then um, be out there promoting some other guys and walking around. That's what it, it, you know. You gotta wear your head covered, you know, in a, in a, in a, when you're walking through the area. So, what country allows this to happen? This is a, and it's America. It's America. That's why all the nations come here, all right, because they're able to live deliciously. They're able to set up a business. They're able to uh, pretty much benefit, you know, off of this land. Now, um, that's just pursuing to this. What you know, when it's speaking of Babylon, you know, just to identify it. Now, why are they going to bewail her? Because they're going to see a judgment. And this society is going to get a judgment. And I'm not going to get too far into the, uh, you know, the whole breakdown of why it's going to get judged. 
or more or less, you know, shouldn't even be a why. It should just basically be when, you know. But if you do want to know why, we can, you know, start off with slavery alone. All right, that's that's a good enough reason. Nobody would would pay would pay for that. All right, and beyond that, um, all of the sins that it's been been promoting. All right, and um, all of the wickedness that happens. There's a whole list of things. All right, but um, anyway, it says standing afar off for the yet for the fear of her torment, saying, "Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is our judgment come." So they're standing afar off. All right. And it says, and the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore. Why? Because this is what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to look like. You telling me when a country, a, you telling me you think it's going to be, they can't even, there's a whole shortage. Now, this article is saying that, I don't know the full story, but at the end of the day, another angle of what's happening is that the Most High is going to cause a famine. And it also says that victory shall be cheap, all right, because right now there's going to be an inflation. Why? Because there's going to be a shortage of products. So that means they're able to inflate a price because there's not, the, 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 uh, the resources is not readily available. Now, when the, all the resources come and hit in, then there's going to be cheap victory because nobody's going to buy the stuff that's coming in now, you know, or... People will buy it in, in, in bulks or, or, or large amounts because of the shortages. However, it may turn around, but in, these are things that will happen according to prophecy. But um, the point that I'm um, um, bringing off is that uh, that how is anybody going to be buying this stuff with this country when the country's on fire? So that's what it's going to be looking like. They're not going to be able to bring it inside of the country. They're going to be sitting. In the, in the waters from afar off as they are right now as we see that's happening currently today all right october 7th <laughs> that's what it looks like over there the, the powerful thing about the media is that they can just focus on one thing and you know but there's mad uh major events that's happening and this is going to affect they said that this is going to affect your um your Thanksgiving, this is going to affect your Black Friday, this is going to affect your Christmas, this is going to affect your, your New Year's. They, that's, that's how much backed up stuff that they have there. They said it's been already effect, affecting Nike's business, all right, for those who want to buy the newest joint. This, this is affecting a lot of stuff, because remember, these products are made in other countries. They got to be imported. All right, so um. This is prophecy. This is what we're getting into, right? So Revelation is back at 18. Look at all this stuff here, man. This is what's, what's in those cargoes. It says, <laughs> And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, for no man buyeth their merchandise anymore, the merchandise of gold and silver and precious stones and pearls and fine linen and purple silk and scarlet and all thine wood. And all manner of vessels and of ivory and all manner of vessels of most precious wood and of brass and of iron and of marble and cinnamon. All right. You know, you would get the cinnamon from, um, you know, that that's not in that's not the, like the, 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 the I think it's the Cylon cinnamon or the, or the top cinnamon that's imported here in America. All right. This is how you know this is Babylon. All of this stuff is being imported here. And odors and ointments and frankincense. Frankincense is made mostly over, and um, a lot of frankincense is 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 really like in Ethiopia, like in the areas of e Ethiopia. Um, I forgot the other other uh, other parts, but mainly within that area. Okay, so they they <clears throat> this imported here when you're able to buy frankincense. And wine, right? And oil, right? And fine flour, and wheat, and beasts, and sheep, and horses, and chariots, and slaves, and souls of men. All right. Um, <laughs> you know where the slaves were sent? Where, where, where was the slaves imported? They were imported here. You can't you can't say that this is another country because this transatlantic slave that's a major historical event. Slaves were brought here. 
souls of men is trapped here. People's souls is in this country, man. All right, chariots. Where, where are the cars imported? Imported to? You get cars from Japan here. You know, you'll hear rappers talk about it having a uh, the foreigns, right? Who, who talks about having foreigns? That's that's being imported in America. That's why they call it a foreign. Um, and the fruits that that are so lusted after and departed from thee, and things which were dainty and goodly are are, are all departed from thee. Thou shalt find them no more at all, right? Because when that destruction come, you know, if you laid it for all of this stuff. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be there for you no more, right? Verse fifteen. Here's the point: the merchants of these things which were made rich by her shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, weeping and wailing. See, standing afar off. This, this literally looks like that image, man. Just imagine, imagine that. Oh man, slide. Imagine that. Check check this out, man. Imagine seeing thousands of ships, you know, in the middle of the waters, midway, you know, making it their way there, and the country being destroyed. And then there are other countries that's that sending their stuff over there, like just weeping and wailing, like, damn, how are we gonna sell all that? Because that's that's really all they look looking at this country. They don't care about the people that died there. These niggas, they only care about um, making money. You see what they, they're crying over. They're saying what? They said already that what? Uh, For no man buy up merchandise anymore. Why do you think people are going to buy it? Because they're dying. <laughs> the country's on fire. You know? But, hey, this this is what the, this is, see, see you, U.S. Y'all think y'all in relationships with people? They only like because they're only able to set up here. But see, this, this, this whole thing is, um, this this the system. This is going to be brought down. The system is 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 through greed. It's through greed. It's not a. It's not a. a they don't have a. And that's what we we talking about. People don't understand that <clears throat> this isn't a a, a a peaceful country. It's a business. It's a business, and right now, they you know. When you watch the shows like Canaan and all of that, they didn't, you know, the dudes who were selling, or you watch the shows like, uh, what's in the one, Big BMF, these guys will will pretty much would sell on different blocks, right? But it was, it was a business that they didn't want to disturb. Because they didn't want to disturb their business, they didn't go to war. They wasn't killing each other. That wasn't genuine love or peace. They just wanted to sell a product. And it's the same thing that's going on here. This is how we know this is America. You know, they don't genuinely love the, oh man, we love this. Cause people don't genuinely love this. They only because of their business, all right? What they're allowed to do, all right? What they're allowed to do here. The money they're allowed to make. The lifestyle that they're allowed to live. That's, that's all that matters. It's not a genuine love. All right, as you can see in Revelations, the 18th chapter is documented that the first thing they cared about is that, damn, nobody's buying out for going by this merchandise. They ain't give a shit that anybody's dying over here. They, damn, man, people are dying. Nah, they just like, man, the merchandise ain't going to be sold. You know, because that's all this is. It's, 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 it's all of this is numbers, buying and selling. So um, it says in saying, at last, at last, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple and scarlet decked with gold and precious pearls for in um for in one hour so great riches has come to naught. So that's how that's how they're thinking it. Every shipmaster and all the company <laughs> and ships and sailors, as many as trade by sea, stood afar off. How, how is this documented? And look at the image. It it looks literally like a play by play out of the book. You ain't gonna tell me that the Bible ain't real. Cause I can see this, you can see this happening. They're having trouble right now. You can Google it. And like I said, this is not the fulfillment of it, but this is like a precursor to it. You can see it like more evidently. Oh wow, this is how exactly how it's gonna play out. Right? It stood afar off and cried when they saw the smoke of a burning, 
saying what city is like unto this great city. Why And why were they saying that? Because they were like, yo, man, what city? I'm never going to be able to sell the shit I was able to sell here. They, you got people opening Zaza stores, hookah stores. You can't just go and do that in other people's countries because they got a whole other communist system of belief where they don't tolerate certain shit. All right? But see, here they were able to do that. That's how they was like, man, what city is like unto this great city? And look, and they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, at last, at last, that great city wherein were made rich, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her coarseness, for in one hour is she made desolate. Where where are these cargo ships going to? And I bet you, I, I, you know, one is coming from here, China. One is coming from Taiwan. Another one's coming from uh, carrying the oils, probably from um, the, uh, the the UAE, the uh, over there in the, in, the, in the Middle East. All of these ships is coming into coming from different countries to America, and that's the that's the, this is how you know this is Babylon. That alone lets you know that this is Babylon. They're not going all of these ships coming from one country and, and you know. You know, like all the ships from here and this country and that country going to China. That's not happening. It's coming to America, man. And you know that because you're able to buy these different things and, and tap into these different cultures, man. You know? Check. So, 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 so that alone, look at what it said. It said that, yo, um, all that has ships in the sea by reason of a coarseness. Look. By reason of her costliness. Because once again, this is, a, you know, as, as we always say, and they say it themselves, this country's a corporation. Why you think it was also known the World Trade Center? Okay? This is where the cross, the crossroads of the world is. Here in America. It says, uh, rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles. And prophets for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah have avenged you on her. So when it when this judgment happens, <laughs> they're gonna be weeping because of business, but the most high and the elect is gonna be rejoicing because we were delivered. So who really was they making money off of? Who really was they benefiting off of was was Israel, you so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. That's that's the truth, because how are they? Why are they weeping? They should be happy. Yes, you know, this society is brought down. They're not happy because they're not able to sell, buy and sell. They're not able to sell their merchandise. All right, but guess what? It ain't going to affect you because you wasn't importing, exporting shit. You was the one being imported and exported. You got imported here, all right? And you and we ain't never leave. So when the most I judge this place, that'll be the first time us being delivered from out of this damn captivity. Real talk. So it says, uh, and a mighty angel took up a, a stone like unto a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, Thus with violence shall the great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. And the voice of harpers and musicians and of pipers and trumpeters shall be heard no more at all in thee. Right? Where the greatest mu mu musicians come from? They, they in America, man. You ain't gonna tell me that, that you know, most of the greatest musicians and their songs. All right, let's 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 let's, say, let's uh, tap into this too. Their songs are played mostly in in America. The entertainment people come here because of the, the, the entertainment industry, right? You have a, a a West African song that'll be popping here. You have a Jamaican song that'll be popping here. You have you know rap. Music that be popping here, rock and roll music that be popping here. You ain't gonna have different varieties of music, like I said, over in China. China ain't gonna now. That's not to say that they won't hear hip hop, but they're gonna have their own type of stuff. But you, you will have more influx mixtures of music in in this country. Country music, this music, that type of music in America alone than any other country. You know. And see, that's not going to be heard no more. This is how you know it's talking about here. That's not going to be heard anymore. All right? No, And no craftsman of whatever crafty be shall be found anymore. Right? There's going to be no no more, you know, uh, LeBron James. He just got, they just did a Hall of Fame. The most high going, as beautiful as it is, and 
I mean, wow, man, congratulations, man. Wow, man, you you came the, the kid of Akron, Ohio. That shit ain't gonna mean nothing when I mean it's the funny thing about it is it's a game. If it was if it was such the most high would beam that up and, and sanctify that. Man, that ain't that the most high said this place ain't gonna be found no more at all. That's gonna be all through. Tyler Perry Studios, man, look at amazing. Look at where he came from and look at what he did. That's gonna be done. It's not you're not gonna even be able to pass it down. According to the scripture, you're not gonna be able to pass it down generation to generation. You're not gonna be written in the history of this country. It says that it says it shall be found no more at all. So that's it. You know, this shall be heard no more at all. Right, because there's not gonna be no more work. <clears throat> it, it, you know, they have this struggling now. If these cargo ships is not gonna work, we'll work, we'll work. Who gonna be? What's the what's the trucking industry gonna look like when 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 when, when, the, when the country's on fire? You know, only thing that's gonna be try to import and export is water. All right, and nothing's gonna stop it. It's, it's gonna be through. But once again, I just want I just uh. You know, through the Holy Spirit, just wanted to uh, <clears throat> read that Revelation the 18th chapter as I as I looked at this image. You know, this is a heavy image right here because John the Revelator seen this. I mean, thousand you know thousands of years ago, over two thousand years ago, right? And we're seeing the fulfillment of the vision coming really soon, but we're able to see what. You know how he was seeing these things just by looking at this image of these cargo ships just sit out in the waters. But these, these are these are these are events that never happened before. So it was a lot of strange events that's going on. All right now, um, I think I may do a second video to go into this article, but I just wanted to look at that aspect and then I'll go into uh, another aspect of the of, of this video. But until the next time, I'm gonna just say shalom.